Hi, I'm so glad you've joined me for Bluebell Storytime, the online edition. I'm Miss Mandy from the B.B. Comer Library. Today we're talking about one of my very favorite colors, and that is blue. So I want to read a couple of books. The first one is It Was You, Blue Kangaroo. And I'd like to thank the author, Emma Chichester Clark, and the publisher, Dell Dragonfly Books. Thank them for allowing me to share this book with you. It was you, Blue Kangaroo. Blue Kangaroo belonged to Lily. He was her very own kangaroo. Sometimes when Lily was very naughty, she would say, It was you, Blue Kangaroo. And Blue Kangaroo would look at Lily, but say nothing. One day, Lily decided to give all her dolls a bubble bath. She filled the kitchen sink with soapy water and gave them a good scrub. Then she went to get a towel, and Blue Kangaroo wondered if the water would stop coming. Lily, cried her mother, who left the tap running? It was you, Blue Kangaroo, said Lily. Blue Kangaroo looked at Lily, but said nothing. The next day, Lily found some old baby clothes that would be just the right size for the cat. But when it came to the underpants, he wriggled, and Blue Kangaroo didn't like all the snarling noises. Suddenly, the cat went mad. He flew out of Lily's arms and landed on the curtains, and everything came crashing down. Lily, cried Lily's mother. It was you, Blue Kangaroo, said Lily. Blue Kangaroo looked at Lily, but he said nothing. Lily took Blue Kangaroo out into the garden. Her little brother was playing in the sandbox. He was perfectly happy. I want to play with that, said Lily. No, mine, wailed her little brother. He screamed and screamed. Now we're in trouble, thought Blue Kangaroo. Lily, said Lily's mother, who did this? It was you, Blue Kangaroo, said Lily. Well, you'd better take him to your room and stay there until I say he can come down, said Lily's mother. Blue Kangaroo looked at Lily, but he said nothing. Lily stayed upstairs with Blue Kangaroo. She decided to take everything out of the drawers and throw it all away. Blue Kangaroo didn't dare look. Ooh, cried Aunt Jemima. Lily, shouted Lily's mother. Which of you threw these, asked Lily's mother. It was you, Blue Kangaroo, said Lily. Blue Kangaroo looked at Lily, and he said nothing. Well, if Blue Kangaroo can't behave, he'll have to sit by himself downstairs, said Lily's mother, and she put him on top of the bookcase, out of reach. That night, Lily refused to go to bed. I never sleep without Blue Kangaroo, she said, but Lily's mother was firm. I'm sorry, Blue Kangaroo, sobbed Lily, and she cried herself to sleep. Poor Blue Kangaroo. He sat alone in the dark wide awake and thinking. Then he had an idea. He found a pencil and a piece of paper and he began to draw. When he had finished, he crept upstairs and slid the piece of paper under Lily's mother's door. Then he hopped back on top of the bookcase and waited. What a lovely surprise, Lily, said her mother. Who drew this? Lily looked at the picture. It was you, Blue Kangaroo, she whispered. I'm sorry, too. And Blue Kangaroo smiled, and he said nothing. All right, I think she learned a little lesson there, thanks to Blue Kangaroo. Now I want us to sing about bluebirds. I know it's probably not the time of year to see uh, bl bluebirds out a lot because it's cold, but we can still sing about them. We're going to pretend these are our two bluebirds. Two little bluebirds sat on a hill, one named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack, fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack, come back, Jill. All right, let's try that again. Get your hands ready. Ready? Two little bluebirds. 
two little bluebirds sitting on a hill. One named Jack, one named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Good job. All right. The next book about the color blue is Little Blue Truck. All right. This guy has a real adventure. I'd like to thank the author, Alice Shirtle, the illustrator, Jill McElmurray, and the publisher, Harcourt, for allowing me to share the book with you. Little Blue Truck. Horn went beep, engine purred, friendliest sounds you ever heard. Little blue truck came down the road, beep said blue to a big green toad. Toad said croak and winked an eye when little blue truck went rolling by. Sheep said ba, cow said moo, oink said a piggy, beep said blue. Cluck said a chicken and her chick said peep. Ma said a goat. Blue said beep. Nay said a horse. Quack said a duck. Beep said the friendly little blue truck. Honk yelled a dump truck coming through. I've big important things to do. I haven't got time to pass the day with every duck along the way. Room went the dump around a curve. He saw a puddle and he tried to swerve. Into the mud rolled the big fat truck and his big important wheels got stuck. His heavy duty dump truck tires were sunk down deep in muck and mire. Honk cried the dump and he sounded scared, but nobody heard or nobody cared. Then, into the mud, bump, 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 came the little blue truck to help the dump. Little blue pushed with all his might. Now blue and the dump were both stuck tight. Help, 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 cried the little blue truck. Beep, 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 I'm stuck, I'm stuck. Everybody heard that beep, beep, beep. The cow came running with the pig and the sheep. Up at a gallop ran the big brown horse. Goat jumped over the fence, of course. The hen came flapping with the chick and the duck, and everybody pushed the little blue truck. Head to head and rump to rump, they all pushed blue, who pushed the dump. They couldn't quite budge that heavy load. Then who hopped up but the big green toad? All together, one, two, three, one last push and the trucks were free. Thanks, little brother, said the dump to Blue. You helped me and they helped you. Now I see a lot depends on a helping hand from a few good friends. Beep said blue, who wants a ride? Everybody scrambled to jump inside. Oink, quack, ba, moo, cluck, peep, nay, croak, ma, beep, beep, beep. All right, little blue truck had a lot of friends, didn't he? Thank you so much for joining me today.